Okay, today my assistant is Ari, and our job is going to be to finish the trim. We got one piece back there that I need to cut to fit in back there, and then we're going to finish trimming out here. And if we get that done, then we will start the spinning. Okay, of the wall. so what we're going to be doing, Ari, is we're going to mark this board, which is a cedar fence picket, which we're going to use for wall boards, mm -hmm. and we're going to mark them four and an eighth inches up okay and then we'll just cut the whole board and then we'll cut off how much we need and we needed 30 30 inches I think it is we'll double check that okay so take it and measure it's upside down you can use this side In the lines. What did you line it up down there on the line? Not even. Right there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. So we've got it cut the four and an eighth in height. Now, Ari, um, we're going to measure. 30 inches and one quarter inch in length. Okay. Here? Yeah, so 30. With the pencil. Um, and then, no, 30. Where? Oh. Where? And one quarter. So one, there's right, right here? there. This line? Right here, the long one. Yeah. There. Okay. And then we'll use a T-square, mark a line, and cut it, okay? Does it fit? Good. Pressure against it, and then pull the trigger. Good, but keep the pressure on it so it goes all the way in. Good, and then take it a little towards the end. Further? Further towards the end. Yeah. Good, and then all the way towards that end. So, careful. Don't do that. Um, keep your finger off the trigger so it doesn't shoot you. Now we're going to do the trim for that corner. So we need to measure two inches high, I think it was. We'll double check that. Okay. See, those math skills are coming in handy now, aren't they? <laughs> All those fractions. <laughs> what they say, right? Yeah. Measure twice, cut once, right? Yep. Got up to 20. So she's going to go inches. ahead and staple the trim on this one. And then she's going to cut the, we'll measure and cut the piece 20 and 3 quarters. All the way against it. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Oh wow, you, that is really perfect. And then flip it around. Yep. Okay. Done. You want to staple it? I think I can with my arm and all. I've yeah. been stapling with, with two arms. 
Yeah, my my right hand isn't strong enough. Down, down, yeah. Uh, Put the bottom hard. of it. <laughs> Good. A little further down? No, not down, down, not. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I mean. Now, whoops. It's full of ammo, I don't know. Full of ammo? Yeah, I caught ammo. She's getting fast at this now. Now put it to the end, to this board right here, Ari. Oh no, that's fine. Actually, do it the way you're doing it. That's fine. Yeah. We got this trim done, this whole thing done here. We haven't done that yet because I still need to get that one piece. I know, shameful. Um, we are going to do this back wall right now and we finished this fall. Yay. And that was the top and we've done the bottom. So the only bottom that we haven't done, don't mean to spin on you fast, is over here. And that's because I still need to do the door trim. So I didn't want to trim out the bottom until I know what I'm going to do for door trim there. Okay, so we need a piece 61 and a half. Ari's going to measure it. And that's going to finish off that back wall. The 60? 61 and a half. piece done so we're done for today well I this. still have to finish off this wall right here and I'm going to put because I'm putting up that barn door rail um, I'm going to put in two by six there and a two by six piece there just to give it some extra so Ari if you say Wait, you learned something today what so did, what did you learn today that it takes a lot of work to save up for something that you want. Yeah. And what about with the work that you were doing? Did you learn how to do stuff for in the future? Yes, and Some... building my tiny house when right. I grew up. Stuff that you learned how to use a nailer that you hadn't used before. Yeah. And you learned not to be afraid of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good job.